NFL Model 2 now will be using average team scores for home, against home, away, and against away. So rather than just using final score data, like in Model 1, now we'll be segmenting based on home and away and adding a little more complexity into the model. Let's get started. The high-level formula for this model, you can see written here, intercepts plus points for home, points against home, points for away, points allowed away. That's the summary. I'll show you the actual formula here in the SSE min function cell. You can see using VLOOKUPs, just like in the Model 1, finds the team in the table over here and brings back the right column. So once again, effectively, we're asking Excel to look up each team in the game to find their logistic strength rating and then input those ratings into the formula using the regression coefficients that we find up here that we'll have Solver optimized for us here in a moment. Okay, I'll briefly show the setup of the document first. You can see this looks familiar here. Date, away team, away points, home team, home points, game total, and home margin of victory, same as the first model. Second tab down here is another uh, duplicate, basically, of the game data. Just has a date, away team, away points, home team, home points. And then each of these sheets brings in the specific home away games for each individual team. So you, you can see Arizona Cardinals. This is all of their away games. And then you can see the away points allowed, some there, the average there, and away points, as well as the home points scored and points allowed. That's There's the uh, home points that they allowed, home points that they scored. And then you'll notice these metrics up here will match up with the table on the GSSD model. All right, once that's set up, we're ready to let the solver go to work. So once again, we'll click Data tab, Solver. This time we're asking the solver to minimize the sum of the squared errors here in K5 by changing the coefficients up here in I2 through IM. So once that looks good, go ahead and click Solve, and it will give us the new coefficients up here in these solver coefficient cells. And we'll use these to properly weight our model input variables. And to do that, we will perform another linear regression. Now, data analysis regression. This time, same thing, a home margin of victory will be the Y variable, and this SSE min function will be the X. Go ahead and input the correct range. Uh, labels, line fit, plot, click OK when you're ready to go. And there we have it. So once again, we want to find standard error. We're going to use that, and then the intercept and the SSE min function. Copy standard error, bring that same place as model one. We're gonna bring that into model error right here. And intercept and SSE min function coefficients, we'll bring those in here as well. There we go. Once that's done, you can look up here at the benchmark section of this document and see how the model performed as well as some more advanced ways to grade your model. We won't get into that just yet, but um, it's there for, for future use. Making predictions is similar to Model 1 over here. If you scroll right of the document, you can see the two teams entered there with the SSE min function, same as we used to the left of this document. I'll go ahead and change these two teams playing. Lions, Bills. Uh, very similar to the first video. I won't go into it all again, but you can watch that first video for a detailed explanation of these formulas or just look at the formula. So you can see here's the minimization function and the estimated spread based on the coefficients here. This column, you enter the spread you're getting out of sportsbook, so we won't touch that just yet. But this is the normal distribution function to find the straight up win percentage based on these metrics. And then here you can enter the odds you're getting at the sports book, calculate the fair price, compare the two using these value formulas. So there you have it. There's a second sports betting model, a different way to model using home and away splits.